everyone, it's Laurie from Cook, Scrap, Craft, and today I'm sharing with you all the layouts that I made in March. Um, as you can see over here, I'm getting ready for some April layouts, so definitely subscribe to the channel uh, so you don't miss out on all those cool process videos and other challenges and things that are coming up for the month of April. So this one I didn't do a process video for. I have a lot of those, actually. Um, if you're following me on Instagram, that link is below. You'll probably have seen some of these because I did do like a whole big photo dump of some of the layouts that I was um, making for the paper issues challenges going on in March. And I'm really excited because I think I got through like all of them. And in this month of April, there are a bunch of new challenges and there's a, a bingo challenge that we get to do. So I'm really excited. And I think it's going to be a great way for me to like get done, get a lot of layouts done. Um, so this is one of them that I did for the paper issues challenge. It was a sketch challenge. It originally had some rainbow stripes on each side here. I kind of did my own thing and just took a bunch of random paper strips in different patterns and different colors and just kind of, you know, made them burst out from the center photo. This is a photo, I, I add some fallish things here because this is from September and my daughter colored some Charlie Brown coloring pages in an attempt to get to do this really cool, uh, the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown uh, Ripple Street Party Pack. Um, uh, Ripple Street, not that I want to spend a whole lot of time talking about this one layout, but it's this, you, you can sign up for it and then you might get chosen to do uh, what are called party packs where you get free samples of stuff and you leave reviews. Um, so anyway, that was what this photo was. This one does have a process video coming up. So either it's, again, as I'm filming this, I don't know when it's going to, when this video is going to go live. So you may have seen the process video for this one. You may have not, but just know if you haven't seen it, it's coming. So there's a sneak peek. This is another paper issues one. Again, they were doing a lot of stuff with triangles last month. So I wonder if there's going to be a shape for April, um, but lots of triangles. I took some papers from um, that. Oh, what was it? It's part of my, it's part of my April haul that the tutti fruity papers, the six by six. And I just cut them into like kind of long triangles. And this is just a photo, another September photo of my daughter at the, um, apple orchard. This is one that I kind of just took a bunch of leftover stuff from the simple stories. Was it called? Let's go that travel collection. Um, this is not adhered down all the way because I'm going to put a four by six photo underneath it, but it's just something to have for a vacation photo when I need to fill it in. Um, it's very basic, a little bit of mixed media, just kind of like putting some stickers and embellishments down. Um, could be a great like starter page for a vacation album. So we'll kind of see what happens with that one. I'm just going to keep it in my stash. This one had a process video because this, and it just went live. This one will definitely be live by the time I post this um, layout share. So definitely go check that out if you haven't seen this one. This is another Paper Issues um, sketch challenge. So again, a little bit of triangle shapes going on down here, um, kind of going on up here. This one got cut got cut kind of funny. I guess I wasn't paying close enough attention to the, the actual placement of this, but it doesn't matter. Um, and then I just added a couple like embellishments and some splattering and super, super simple, super easy layout to get done. This one did not have a process video, but it was a paper issues challenge. So I did my own mixed media with um, Tim Holtz spray and a stencil. I think I used three colors of spray. And then I used up all these alpha star, these uh, number stickers, not alphas, um, because this is my, this was my fourth uh, COVID vaccine. So that's why I titled it Vax number four um, and put all of those numbers on there. So the original paper issues, it had like a cut apart or cut file that had numbers on it. Obviously I don't have a cutting machine, so I couldn't use the cut file, but I kind of, you know, I took that inspiration and made it my own. All right. This one also had a process video. That was the iron crafter challenge from last month using ribbon and trim. Here's another one that I just made using up some of those simple stories, leftover pieces from that vacation, um, that vacation collection. Again, I'm going to, I have a place for a photo right here. Um, I don't know. Oh, actually I do know what I'm putting on it. I'm, I'm looking at the title. Welcome to Arizona. So from my June, 2022 vacation album, there's a four by six photo that I have that I took through the car window of the welcome to Arizona sign. So I'm going to be putting that there. So this is not um, something that I'm saving. I'm putting it in my June vacation album. This is another paper issues challenge inspiration one. Again, there was, uh, I think like a cut file. It had, um, three, three or four words. I think it said lucky, but I decided to use up a bunch of different alpha stickers and do adventure because 
This is a hike that my family and I went on in September and um, I loved, I was so glad I finally had like actual outdoorsy photos that I could use for this Keep It Simple collection. So the background papers, Keep It Simple, I think this solid is Doodlebug. These paper strips are also from the Keep, that Keep It Simple collection and then these are old Chamel. I mean, we didn't see a frog, but I don't really care. I'm going to put it there anyway because I wanted to get it used up. I've had that stuff, this stuff in my stash for a really long time. Another paper issues one with a mixed media background, um, using a lot of different <laughs> alpha stickers to make the word supermodel, which is kind of fun. And uh, layering up just a bunch of random stuff from my stash for that one. This one is another paper issues one. It had some um, paper strips coming across. So I used these simple stories tags. I just left them connected, but then I did cut the uh, corners off. So, you know, you could do it this way. I did it this way and I've got the one photo up here and then the two smaller photos down there. All right, this one you definitely saw a process video for. Uh, this was my scrapbook and cards today inspiration layout for the month of March. So it's a two pager getting some zoo photos scrapbooked. I just need to print them out. This is another paper issues one. There was a, a photo and it had a bunch of layered circles. So I took my creative memory circle cutting system and I cut all of these pattern papers and my photo into a circle. And then I kind of added extra embellishments going around um, again, kind of like on the diagonal for this one. And this is using some Valentine's Day stickers um, and some pink fresh stuff that were part of my March haul. All right, another uh, paper issues one using the triangles. So I've got one triangle that's kind of down here and then one that's a little bit higher. So they're kind of going at an angle. Um, these are two photos of my daughter pretending to be the president of the United States at the St. Louis Magic House. Did a little bit of mixed media stenciling with the background and then um, some splatters. And you'll actually see, let me find it. This is my second attempt at this sketch. The first one is this one. So I did something a little bit different with the triangles on this one, but here I had the triangles be pretty equal and this is coming up, so I need to fix that. But I was very much inspired to do this Disney, the Disney layout um, because Stephanie from the Paper Issue Design team also did a Disney layout and she had the cloud stencils at the top. And I was like, I can do this because I have Disney stuff and I have the cloud stencils. I have so many embellishments this was this was like so easy to do a little bit of splatters around it as well i have three photos that i'm going to use um, that were taken on the rides that we went on and actually two of them are this way and one of them is this way so i might need to like fill in some spaces i was hoping that they would all be you know this way but they're not but i will figure it out i will fix it or maybe i will find three other photos that i can cut down into this small size it's um three by two I cut these down to or two by three but I really um had fun doing this one so that was the great inspiration and then you know I tried my hand at it a second time with this just doing something different um I did this one kind of on my own to use up a bunch of school themed papers from Simple Stories and uh Authentique which I've had for a long time so these are my daughter's first uh day of first grade pictures in September. She uh, wants to be a millionaire when she grows up. So good luck with that one. And this is actually based on a, a Chamel design using these uh, two by two squares. All right, another Disney one. This is a single page. And I think this was a, based on a Chamel design. I've got a random sticker thingy here. Um, so there are two photos here. They're gonna be four by four, or I'm gonna cut them down a little bit. And then I did a board, um, a paper, a pattern paper strip going down this way and then each side has just you know building out the embellishments with that so this was definitely a chamel this one I did a paper or process video for because I did uh how to cut down the photos using my tried and true technique so um when I crop down my four by six photos I have like a system that I always go by so that I don't end up cropping off too much of the photo and ruining it so check out that process video if you are afraid to cut down your photos this was for a paper issues challenge and again you can see I did that same kind of Chamel design with the two by two squares that are both from simple stories and I want to say crepe paper they were the Valentine's Day papers that were part of my March haul, um, but not a Valentine's Day layout. These are photos from the Children's Museum in Indianapolis. And I did this for paper issues because I have dinosaurs in it. And it was, uh, the challenge was to scrapbook about pets or animals. So I threw the dinosaurs in here. How do you measure up with a dinosaur, right? Anyway, this one has a process video. This was the stick it down two page sketch challenge for March. 
Um, again, using up Valentine's Day papers in a non-Valentine's way. And then this was the very first one that I made for the month. This is for our paper issues sketch challenge. It had a bunch of elements on this side with a circular photo. So I used a lot of those pink fresh frames over here and added a couple, you know, extra other embellishments. And then my title is kind of peeling up because it's those paper alphas from Simple, Simple Stories. But once it's in the page protector, it'll be fine. But this was from a what is sticking back here? Oh, see, you can see this was cut into and then I just put this on top, right? So don't ever let that uh, stop you. If you have like a piece of paper that's not all the way full, you can make it look like it's a, you, it's bisected, right? And no one ever has to know, right? Pretty cool. So um, this was from a August um, Girl Scout meeting that we had at the playground. So just finally finishing up, almost finishing up August um, I think I still have to do some photos from July. You'll see a process video for those. I've got stuff from August that I need to do. Um, almost done with my September photos and October photos as I'm filming this are in the mail. They're coming. They're on the way. So got a lot more photos to scrapbook for you guys. Let's count how many layouts I did. One. This is a two-pager. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a two pager, so that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 22 layouts done in the month of March. If you know how many layouts or cards that you created, let me know down in the comments below. And also, if you have any questions about anything that you've seen here, let me know down below. I'll always reply to all the comments. And I love just chatting with you down there. Just even if you just want to say hi, leave me a comment and just say hi. So thanks so much for watching. Like I said, stay tuned to the channel because there are lots more process videos coming up with the stuff in my April haul. Um, and some of the things here that haven't gone live yet, you'll see some of those process videos too. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.